Liberalism in Australia has been essentially not about creating in Australia a republic along American lines. It's all more been about removing the crown from the constitution and trying to decide what to do then. When I was at Korowa at a debate the Australian had arranged before the referendum, I was talking to Ted Mack. Ted Mack was a, a real Republican, that is to say he believed in the election of an Australian president. And he'd been a member of parliament, an independent member of parliament of both the state and federal parliaments. Highly regarded because he was against political superannuation, but uh, when he became due for superannuation, he resigned from the New South Wales Parliament and then the federal parliament. And I told him that I was having difficulty explaining to the Republicans that what they were planning was a republic which would lead to a situation where the president could be too easily sacked by the prime minister which would upset the constitutional arrangements in Australia and give the Prime Minister too much power. He said, don't waste your time, that's precisely what they want. And the model which emerged in 1999 would have significantly increased the power of the politicians because it would have been the only republic in the world, and indeed in history, in which it would have been easier for the Prime Minister to sack the president than his cook. He could have sacked the president without notice, without grounds, and without any right of appeal. So I've been wondering what sort of republic, apart from the 1999 one, which the Republicans wanted. The great architect of the present round of Australian republicanism, or the architects have been Paul Keating, and Malcolm Turnbull. And I was very surprised a couple of years ago at La Trobe University when at the end of a long address, Paul Keating indicated the form of republic which perhaps he liked because he referred to the, to the uh, republic, the People's Republic of China as the best government in the world in the last 30 years, the best government in the world. And I was wondering whether that was the sort of republic which might have been wanted by some of the Republicans. Indeed, there were a large number of Republican politicians involved in matters relating to our increasing dependence on the People's Republic of China, who seemed to favor the People's Republic. That is, in terms of the free trade agreement, in terms of encouraging Australian industry to move away from Australia, Australian manufacture, and move to China, and in granting approval for the acquisition of assets in Australia, major farms, even strategic assets, water, by corporations based in the People's Republic forgetting the fact that corporations based in the People's Republic are at the beck and call and the control of the Communist Party of China and who must swear to observe and defend the Communist Party of China and observe its instructions. The fact in Australia is that uh, we don't yet know what form of republic the Republicans want but too many have suggested that uh, by their actions and by their statements that they rather like a more authoritarian form of government.